It's quiet here, and it shouldn't be. This is Westmoreland Coal Company's mine in Appalachia. For more than 100 years, this mine cranked out coal. But now it costs too much, and 750 people have lost their jobs. Less than a mile away in downtown, the Appalachia Bulldog football team is headed toward another championship-winning season. But the coal company shutdown has given the town's economy a major defeat. My family's here, and if I was going to go to work or have a job, I had to create it. G.W. Clissos used to own a restaurant in Appalachia, but when word spread the town's biggest employer was shutting down, businesses left and his restaurant closed. But G.W. is still in the kitchen. He now makes salad dressing. But if we let the people develop their own ideas, they got some good ones. Give them a little bit of help, a little bit of encouragement, be surprised. The town of Appalachia is just one example of a small Virginia community that is being devastated by the coal industry. Here in Wise County alone, one out of every eight people is without a job. The majority of those unemployed are connected to the coal mines. And experts say during the next decade, it's only going to get worse. Curtis Harris knows about the bad times. He worked in the coal mines for 18 years and then was laid off. His company couldn't pay him anymore. Now he's studying to be a nurse. There's a lot of opportunities in front of me after I get an RN degree. More so than you think if you would have stayed in the coal industry? Yes, the coal industry just boom and bust all the time and I got laid off a lot. Curtis, Kenny and Danny have traded in their dirty black coal overalls for clean white nurse uniforms and they don't mind one bit. You're on the floor working in a hospital, somebody that you used to work with shows up there. And here you come strolling in, they used to know you in the coal mines. Oh yeah, they give you a hard time. They look at you like, what are you doing wearing white now? And they get a big kick out of it. The federal government and some of the larger coal companies like Pittston have set up a program here at Southwest Virginia Community College to help laid off coal miners learn a new trade. Nurses. Mary Yates says after more than 12 years in the coal mines, it's difficult to learn a new profession. You know, you think you put so many years into this and now you've got to start over and uh, with all these 18 year olds can you do it you know but it's your mind doesn't die like you think it did. Coal industry troubles have miner Emery Hess wondering how much longer he'll have a job. Yeah it concerns you because you don't know you know what the coal markets are going to do or you know if your mind is going to run or not you know. Once you get to a certain age, well, it's hard to get a job elsewhere, you know. There are opportunities for coal workers to mine a new profession. Many are doing just that. But some of the old veterans are hoping the value of coal will rebound. It's the only job they know. In Southwest Virginia, Roger Harvey, News Channel 6.